Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about how we can initialize micro front end with the single ISPA micro front end framework, right? So this uh, video will be the uh, first video of the our micro front end series and today I am going to initialize two micro front end and I am will be explaining how we can combine with the root micro front end with the uh, other micro front ends and today I am planning to initialize only two micro front end, right? Since I wanted to make this video simple and I wanted to give you like a brief understanding how we can initialize micro front end with a single spa so first thing is you need to install this uh, create single spa in pm package to your machine uh, globally and since i have already run this command and i'm not going to run again this command and just i wanted to dive into how we can initialize the micro front end so first uh, command will be npx uh, create single spa Okay, you can see now I think uh, the newer version I have already published, but I am uh, stick with the, the older version I have currently in my machine. So let's give a project name guys. So I will give the project name as root MFE and this will be the single spa root config and the package manager you can select whatever you want, but there are three options you can have, but I am go with the NPM, right? And for this project, I'm not going to use the typeset, but uh, in the coming videos, I probably I will, uh, work with the typeset as well, right? So we'll give no. And the layout engine, yes. Uh, and also the about the layout engine also, I will uh, give more explanation in the coming videos. For now, I want to just make uh, this simple, right? So organization name. Right, so you can see now it started uh, installing the, all the dependencies in our root MFE. So, so now I will pause my video for now a bit and I will get back to you after the inter installation has completed. Right, okay, uh, the installation has completed for the root MFE. So let's uh, initialize our nest micro front end. The same command you need to view. You can use this arrow keys to get the command. And this will be AuthMFE and uh, so micro front end will be a single spa application, right? You know, there are three type, type, types of single spa micro front end. So one is single spa application, parcel and the utility. For, for this video, I am going with the application, but I will explain more about uh, how these um, types are different from others in the coming videos. Okay, so let's give and let's hit enter and uh, for this uh, one i go with the react and uh, package manager npm type script no organization name make sure to give the same name you have given in the root mfe right and the project name also let's uh, go with the same name as we already give the already have given in the directory name MFA. then also again it run in the npm install Right, the installation has completed and let's go through the files we have inside the AuthMFE. Uh, so first one is that we have the web pack configuration and here this is the organization name we have given before and the project name and also you can add uh, any custom web pack configuration if you want inside uh, here. And uh, we have the Babel configuration and inside the SRC folder we can see there's a test uh, for our component, the, there's only one component included our the auth MFE micro front end right now. And uh, we have this is the entry file of our uh, micro front end, right? So you can see the root component have included here as import, and also they have included some uh, life cycles method. And uh, maybe in the coming video, I will explain more about this uh, life cycles method as well, right? So, next thing is we need to make sure whether this app is running or not right so in that case to the verify that uh, there is a command we can run and check right so this is the command the start standalone right so let's see what will happen after we run this okay let's see npm run start standalone okay okay you can see the web dev server is started Okay, right now let's go to this uh, URL. 
right you can see coordinate mmf is mounted where we can uh, find this uh, one is as i showed before in the root component yeah this is the one we are seeing it and let's in, have a different name here timothy right let's move this one let's see right you can see our updated uh, test tab here which mean uh, this microphone is working fine and let's see how we can uh, bind with this microphone and with the root application okay to connect our auth mfa to our root mfa so let's stop this first right and let's see in our root mfa okay the first thing is you need to uh, go to the index ejs that you can find inside the src folder in uh, root mfa right here uh, what you need to do is you need to include auth mfe configuration right mfe this should be the project name and the port to the port let's give a custom port and in order to do that you need to go to the package json and let's give a port called uh, 9002 right and 9002 let's give this one and the file name it should be you can find it uh, file name should be like this right code env root not root what here you can see the file name is similar uh, that we have in the src inside our tmf right there's one thing we need to do is uh, uh, you need to go to the microphone layout html then you need to include our uh, auth mfe as application right so i will remove this one for now and you need to add the uh, the module name to here right and i will uh, keep this uh, default route path uh, as you can see here but we can give the custom path uh, in later uh, let's see whether it is working or not and uh, in order to run this uh, the whole microphone as a whole what we can do is uh, first let's run this uh, auth mfe script and you can see it's running on uh, port uh, 9002 and let's run our root mfe as well and if you go to the package json okay let's run that one as well okay let's see now browser whether it is working or not right and now we need to give our port as 9000 okay nothing we can see here let's see is there any error have occurred okay application routine diary stress loading on undefined okay let's see right i think i have found the issue so this should be the not root config this should be the auth mfp right let's see now okay now it's saying uh coding of the diary in status or is unable to resolve via specify react right okay let's see how can uh, solve this one All right so in order to sort it out this issue uh, what we need to do is like uh, we need to import our react and react dom cdns here so make sure to like uh, give inside this uh, import map script right so because this one uh, we are using uh, in the local environment since uh, we need this react and react dom in the product environment as well so let's see whether now our app is working or not okay let's refresh this one cool our automf is mounted you can see the message we have 
included in our OTMFE now you can you can see in through our OTMFE and also let's try out uh, different path uh, inside our microfront and layout.html and here let's give a path name as uh, login let's see whether our path also working or not right you can see our path also working here uh, which mean uh, for right now our initialize uh, microphone and configuration has completed and uh, if you have any question comments and feedbacks uh, feel free to put in our comment section and uh, i really appreciate if you have some question and uh, feedback if you have because uh, this is a uh, uh, first uh, video of my uh, microphone and series and also uh, in the coming video i'm planning to do some uh, uh, complex example with the singles for microphone and, and uh, okay that's it right uh, see you in the next video thanks bye